Welcome everyone. This video is a quick start guide to get you going with Quantify. There are more detailed videos that you should definitely watch to learn how to use all of the many features with Quantify, but this video is just going to show you how quickly you can get set up and going and start a takeoff. Quantify is an estimating platform designed for the electrical and mechanical contractors, and it is cloud-based and includes both a labor manual and supplier pricing. You run Quantify right in a browser. When you log in, you're first going to see the estimate management screen. And here we can right click on the estimates folder to create a new folder, which we will call training. And then I can right click on training and make a new estimate called 2022-01. I will apply our default template and create that estimate. Inside this folder, we can click the estimate and you can see all of the information you can enter in up top about site visits, closing, completion, labor. You can enter in who you're bidding to. You can add job notes. And of course, we can upload our job. I will drag and drop that PDF in and the system only does accept PDFs right now. Once that job is uploaded, we can click the big green button to open the takeoff. On the left hand side, we can select our drawings. And on the right hand side, we have our quick item pads. The quick item pads are a unique feature to quantify that allows you to select a pad and it will give you buttons that you can easily and quickly select to do your takeoff. Now, these buttons can be either an item or an assembly, and this is a specific distinction when doing digital estimating between items and assemblies. Let's take a plug, for example. A plug as an item is just that plug. That's all it is. But as an assembly, that will bring in with a single click the plug, the plate, the box, the screws, the morettes, uh, the wire for the drop link. Everything comes in just with that one click. Assemblies are very, very powerful, especially in electrical takeoff. So you can collect all of your items, all of your lengths, everything all at once. So to see how this is done, let's zoom in on the drawing, select a plug with 12 gauge wire and a 10 foot drop length. And then to do a takeoff, I simply click the left button on the mouse hold it down and drag to get the size of the box I want. Release the left button and there's the box. Now I can keep clicking with the left button to select whatever plugs I want on the drawing. I can also pan around on the drawing by clicking down on the mouse wheel and dragging around. And once I'm done, I can right click on the mouse and this will commit this takeoff into the audit trail below. And we can see here's on this drawing in this system, electrical trade, the duplex plugs of eight that we've taken off. Now let's run some cable. And to do that, we're first going to have to set a scale. Now the scale in quantify is always set from a known dimension. This is because a PDF drawing could be altered uh, without you knowing it. And when you load it up, you might not actually be working on the scale you think you are or the scale the drawing says it has on it. So if, some, if anyone else altered this drawing, you wouldn't know. So we use a known dimension. I'm going to use this door here and up top select scale, click on the triangle, then left click here, left click there, and then I'm going to end, enter in six and a half feet. Now notice that the measurement that I took off with the line is in feet, so I want to enter the distance in feet. This is the default for an imperial drawing. In metric, you're going to be using millimeters, not meters, so be aware of that. You can use, you don't have to use a door, you can use a lighting layout on a 2x4 grid, you can use column widths. As long as it's a known dimension, that's going to set the scale for the drawing. So now that we have that, let's move over here, select some wire. I will select the attributes for this wire. And then I can left click on the drawing. And as I run the wire out, you can see on the bottom right of the screen, the distance is updating as I move it. So if I left click there and then right click to commit, 
that wire is going to show up down here, 19 and a half feet. If I add in a junction box, I can again left click, drag, release the left button, right click, and that will commit it. If I want to select one or even holding shift, I can select both items together. I can right click and copy, and then I can just simply keep left clicking to paste these. I can press R on the keyboard to rotate these, and I can keep pasting them around wherever I want to in the drawing. Once I left click, that will again show up down in the audit trail. And you can see here that the junction box is an item. There is no down arrow, but for the cable that was brought in as an assembly, there is a down arrow. That's because this is an, an assembly. So when I click that down arrow, I can see here's each of the items, their size, and the quantity for this entire length that I brought in. Same up top with the plugs that we took off. I can open that because those are assemblies. And I can see there's the plugs, there's the conduit, there's the straps, the box, everything gets brought in for all eight plugs that I took off. That's all for this video. And there is so much more for you to learn and quantify. But this video was just to show you how quickly you can set up and create an estimate and start doing a takeoff. There are more instructional videos that go into much more depth about all the features in Quantify. And I highly recommend that you go through all of those. For more information, please feel free to reach out to us at info at patabid.com.